Jujutsu Kaisen season 2 has been an experience so far. The show has constantly offered incredible animation, competent compositing and unique direction. The first 5 episodes looked unreal, but I still had my doubts. Could the show keep up this quality? Sure it has a lot of top tier animators working on it, but it also has very little production time. Would the show fall apart? That's the question I asked over and over again. And in my mind, I believed it would. I believed this show would suffer from a quality dip somewhere down the line and i was wrong well the quality might actually dip at some point but i was wrong makes for an attractive title shut up based on this trailer the upcoming shibuya arc will look even better than the first 5 episodes now if you're an anime only fan let me set the stage for you without spoiling anything shibuya is a fairly long arc with a lot of action and not just the main trio versus a random curse action almost every fight features strong characters and plenty of attacks coming from both combatants it is a massive arc one which will require a lot of action animation and based on the trailer that's exactly what we'll get that's enough rambling for now let's go go through the trailer scene by scene and talk about the visuals make sure to subscribe we get some static shots near the start and just look at the amount of detail here the light reflecting of the glass and the bottle the amount of shading on the chips the amount of folds on the cigarettes and the papers it's such a good looking shot we get a few more backgrounds which look amazing we got a glimpse of this nighttime urban supernatural vibe back in jujutsu kaisen 0 junichi higashi's art direction really shines during these scenes also this is an insane shot It might be a still but there's a lot of people on screen at the same time. Now YouTube compression won't allow me to check if the crowd is 3D but it's still very impressive. The yellow tone looks really good. It fits the aesthetic perfectly. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love the new character designs. Every single character close up looks incredible. Yes, the amount of line work is less but that doesn't change the fact that the designs look amazing even in a still frame. This trailer had a lot of action. Obviously so because as I said This arc is almost entirely action. The first cut is also one of the coolest. The contrast here between the blue, the red and the purple looks amazing. Also the background is hand animated because of course. Mahito is a silhouette for most of this portion but we do get these insane drawings. The amount of effects here is insane. Also the effects throughout this trailer have that raw unprocessed look which is obviously on purpose. The compositing doesn't interfere with the effects for the most part and that style has its own charm. Although a vast majority of the effects here don't actually move. Also the mechs are hand drawn. That's all I'll say. Another insane cut follows, a recurring theme actually. I know Mahito's insane expression here is the most attractive thing about this cut, but I would like to point out that the fire behind Mahito is animated on ones, meaning it has the highest possible frame rate for an anime, that being 24. And the background is hand animated because again, of course it is. Lovely bit of effects animation here. Love the strong colors. Although I can't tell if this cut is heavily blurred or it's just youtube having a horrible bitrate also you can stop worrying about it curse energy still looks the same the blue glow slash compositing effect from core 1 is an occasional thing this is what curse energy looks like they haven't changed it and that's a good thing because the way season 1 portrayed curse energy was perfect also something went wrong here the stitches on mahito's face almost disappear between frames they're still there but it's like the animator ran out of ink which is obviously not what happened but it's most likely an error we get a lot of character shots and close ups and as you'd expect all of them look amazing the drawings are really strong i love this one cut in particular the strong white shading and the amazing background in the back because where else would a background be it looks amazing gojo's cut is insanely well animated it's a simple movement but the amount of frames assigned to it is ridiculous he feels alive if that makes any sense the subtle character acting is really impressive more action because why not I swear I've seen this exact cut somewhere before. The way Fushiguro moves looks really familiar. The actual drawings here are quite basic with very little line work. Even the explosion uses basic shapes, but the scene moves and it moves well so you don't really notice. Also, another incredibly strong drawing with a large amount of detail. I absolutely love the green shading/accent work here. Also, 
the compositing looks clean. The way these shots are framed, it's so creative. The tilted background here and the way it perfectly complements the energy of the motion. Top tier stuff. Here's a large amount of people, each of them having a unique character design, flying past the screen. Of course, everyone here is 2D. Why? Because why not? The next couple of cuts look solid, although Hanami killing this guy lacks any real impact. It might be on purpose though, so I won't complain. The next three cuts are really interesting. First off, they're from a fight which happens a long way into this arc. It's probably a scene from one of the latter episodes, which is promising. I've seen some people speculate that these cuts are unfinished, but a lot of people think that these look like they are from a Hakuyu Go episode. Hakuyu Go is an incredible director slash animator and he's responsible for some of the most insane looking episodes out there. He has a specific style and these scenes do look like something he'd come up with. Especially this cut. We don't know for sure but fingers crossed. Unnecessarily detailed liquid animation here. Extra for no reason, I love it. There's like four layers of shading. This Mahito cut looks insane. It's probably animated by Kosuke Kato based on the poses, the Kanada style kinetic lines and the thick speed lines which look like his work on episode 3. Miwa gets an insane sequence all to herself. There's this slow camera movement with a whole bunch of individual drawings. We can also see a raw looking set of flares. They look Kanada-esque. Also lots of solid looking effects here. I love the slight amount of camera rotation in this cut. Looks very dynamic. Also the background has a complex perspective. We then get what is probably my favorite cut in the entire trailer. Of course the running animation looks really cool and energetic but the second half is what really caught my attention. Yuji's forward foot landing is accompanied by a series of impact frames and at that point the characters stop moving and the camera starts to move. And this camera movement is really impressive. It is animated on once which only makes it harder to draw. The animator had to animate three different characters all of whom have different proportions and positions. But that's not all. The animator also had to animate the wind effects, the small amount of debris and the cursed energy. Again, all of it is animated on once, meaning it has a frame rate of 24. It's such a creative shot and it's executed perfectly. We also get this incredible cut. The drawings look really good and the timing is perfect. They hold on to this pose for a lot of frames before finally zooming in on his eye. Also love the constant hair movement and the rain. Of course, the rain drops are literal lines but it's a nice touch. But wait, there's more. We get one last cut, this one having a different aspect ratio. The fire looks quite unique. Again, it's unprocessed which is the look this season is going for. Multiple layers of shading on the fire which is impressive. Also the foreshortening on Sukuna's arm looks really nice. It's an amazing shot. And that brings us to the end of this trailer. And it was really promising. There were so many different styles throughout this thing. Series director Shotago Shizono is obviously allowing a lot of creative freedom and it shows. Again, I don't think there's anything wrong with a single uniform look, but this is quite cool in its own way. This arc needs top tier action animation and thanks to the insane list of key animators, that is exactly what this show will get. Also, Shotago Shizono creative and dynamic direction is the cherry on top. It's so nice to see the work done by the animators get complemented instead of constricted by the compositing. There's a reason why I haven't brought up the compositing in my episodic breakdowns. It's nearly perfect, there's nothing worth talking about. All in all, it was an amazing trailer to what will most likely be an amazing arc. That's about it. Did you like this video? Check out this other video. Maybe you'll like that one too. Like and subscribe and until next time.